Lock up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah. yeah. Better yeah. off the worst, took the good, we can pay, yeah. yeah. I don't took a ride in the air, they don't call me, yeah. yeah. I don't took a ride in the air, they don't kill me. One, and welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. You know how I do it. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Say, I'm, I'm on the roll with it right now. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, shit, shout out to everybody that's been supporting. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all hit that live chat. Get them lights up, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you share this. But today, you know what I'm saying? I bring you the hottest artists, the legendary artists, the icons, and the up and coming, and everything in between. And today, with me, I got a motherfucking special guest, you know what I'm saying? Came all the way up here to D Town, you know what I'm saying? To fuck with this old clown ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? And nothing other but. Number no, seven, what's going down? Mm-hmm. I didn't even say it, nah, I didn't even say it. Look, I got my number seven. Look, 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 this is already number seven out there. I, you know, I did that purposely, you know what I'm saying? But shit. But anyway, seven, I want to say, appreciate you for coming up here and fucking with me. Like, yes, real talk. Yes, you know what I'm saying? And we finna get ready to dive down through there. So the ones who don't know, they finna get to know. You know yes, what I'm saying? So please tell them, you know what I'm saying, what they want to know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who you are and where you from. Okay. Um, my name's Seven. I'm an artist, producer, heaven from Temple, Texas. Born and raised, you know what I'm saying? I stayed a little bit in Fort Worth, you know what I'm saying? A couple okay. of years back, about like four years back. I stayed up here for like a year and a half, you know. But got a little homesick, you know. Oh, okay, love, love right. trials. Yeah, gotta go back to Temple. Go back to Temple a little bit. Shit, so. what is like living in Temple or growing up in Temple? What's Temple like? <laughs> Temple, bro, it's a football town. So, right. like, you know, we very prideful in our, in our football team and shit, but it's just a blue collar factory town, bro. Like, old money. That's all I can Old say. money. Old money. Yeah, Texas got a lot of money. Yeah, Texas, so I know down there in Temple, they got a lot of old money. Old money, bro. bro. I see a lot of drunk motherfuckers out of Temple. Bro, I mean. <laughs> you, got, you got a lot of different people yeah. in Temple. Yeah. What I'm saying is, like, we like our downtown. There's there's no community. I mean, they're slowly trying to do it now because right, right. you know they have met a Facebook try to come to town. And right. Shit, but you know they slowed up on that shit. So. Oh, okay. So if I was going to Temple, where's the hood? Is that I gotta go. Wherever I go, I gotta be in the hood. Shit. I mean, you can go to the Manor. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You got the Ville. Okay. You know the Ville. The Ville. Uh. North side, you know, like okay, so y'all got a north really, side, okay. Yeah, we got a north side, you know. A north so, side and what other side? Uh, east side, oh, south side. Yeah, like even one side, east side. side. <laughs> I mean, we we're a confined town, but we're all gathered off of I thirty five. So I thirty five runs right through us. Oh, okay. So okay, so y'all just like this, yeah. More opposite sides. Yeah. Okay, so what side the crunk? More on the east. More on the east. Northeast. Okay, okay northeast. Okay, all right. We'll be going down over there with the clubs, with the spots. There are no clubs. What? There are no clubs. There ain't no clubs. There ain't no clubs. You got to go to clubs. There's some clubs. I mean, there's there. bars yeah, like yeah, Greenhorn yeah. and right. shit, but I mean, or like, you know, O'Brien's and shit, but, right. you know, they only want to play like bluesgrass and shit like that. Oh, shit. Like, yeah, so there ain't really you shit out there. Horizon. But, uh, Everybody want to go to Colleen for the clubs, like Taboo and shit. Right. Or they want to go to Waco. You got to go to Waco for all that. Man, that's crazy, man. So, man, before I even ask my next question, man, I, I got to tell you, I got but this, this is boy right here. You know what I'm saying? He coming down, Angel. You know what I'm talking about? Where you from, Angel? Shit, same place. You from Temple, too? Yeah. You born and raised? Uh, you can say that. I mean, I was born in Temple, but I was raised in Cameron. Where the camera at? It's it's not too far from Temple. Oh, okay, okay, like outside town. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. all right. Well, so what is it like growing up for you out there? And with camera or Temple? Both. I mean, shit, camera, that's that's the hood for me. Right. That's my hood. Okay, you know okay, what I'm saying? okay. And so, you know what I'm saying? I don't know all the camera niggas know about that. The four way. Now, that whole motherfucker is a hood, really. Okay, okay. okay. Hood, 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 hood day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they got hood, man. Yeah, they got hood, man. But Temple the same way for me, too. You know what I'm saying? I go down there. It's, it's the hood for me, too, down there. Right. Like he said, in the Ville. Shit, the man. And really, every side, every side yeah, got right. a hood. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? You just got to be around and really know right. who the hood is. That's right. how you're going to know where the hood is. What them laws like out there, man? They hot? Stupid yeah. shit, small yeah. shit. You know they they they, they trying to get their money, so they right. gonna pull you over quick. They you know, you, you know what quick. I find funny though. They want to yeah. show off that they got a new truck, a new truck squad car. Uh-huh. But you go on the east side, or they're trying to renovate downtown, 
But you go a block over to the east side and none of these streets, bro. Potholes. Go and break your shit. Y'all want to really get back to the community? Stop doing it in the form of a vehicle just to show off social currency. I know, I know what they're doing. They they had on cop cars or they super. But you know, our, t- our city ain't really like like we we get, we we known on some hood shit and all. We know we got our little street and whatever you want to call it. Our city really known for trying to get some money. Some way, so that's how that's how you get our little right right grimy stage or whatever. It's gonna be because a nigga trying to get some money. Right, right. a lot of niggas ain't gonna just be doing no. No fluky. Yeah. So I know it ain't a lot of jobs out there. It's factory town. No, nah, it's jobs. Yeah. Factory it's town. manufacturing town. That's right. what I mean to do. Yeah, manufacturing. Man, man. Big old factory town. Good yeah. jobs. Okay. Not, not good jobs like it is out here, though. Right. When you oh. can make good money, like, doing, not saying, like, easier shit, but, you know, more, you know. Yeah, you, you know, know what I mean. I know what you mean. Shit, yeah. you know, it's, a bad, it's vast out here, so, you know, you can go over here and get down there 20-something an hour and yeah. ain't doing too much, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, oh, I can do this, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah. So, like, who the radio station? What, how, how y'all get tap into the music? Radio station is yeah. in Colombia. Yeah, oh, Colleen. Oh, shout out to Colleen. I was shout locked up. Yeah, I was locked up and popping out there. Uh, Colleen, man, some real, some real motherfuckers come up out of Colleen. Shout yeah. Out yeah. Colleen. yeah, yeah, and there's some real people come up out of Tyler. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Trail. He, uh, he from Tyler. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He part of the Jump Out Boys. I mean, even in Colleen, mm-hmm. you know, you got uh, Dre V, you got a uh, Spark Dog. You know, you got a Big C, you know, Big C talk. Okay. How y'all, be, how y'all connect with the music? I mean, how y'all know we're doing music? Y'all I mean, got no clubs like, or... me personally, it's just social media as far as, like, Instagram. Mm. I like Instagram because, you know, it's more visual. Right, Everything's right. right there. And then not only that, you can get monetized. Like, you can monetize your shit right, to right. see who's watching it, you know, just right there. But, you know, just tapping in. And then me personally, I started my music career in Colleen. Okay. I'm from Temple, but I got my start in Colleen and shit like Club Fuego. Shout out to uh, Lady Boss and Boss Lady. Okay. Um, okay. Definition DJs. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, shout out Definition DJs. You know what I'm talking about? All right. So that's how. So what? 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 Let's just let's go back. Like, what? What made you start doing music? What? What? What uh, sparked that passion? I mean, that goes even back. I mean, like, yeah. Um, I started my first memory of the love of music was in church oh, you know okay. what i'm saying and so like getting on the stage while my grandpa played guitar oh. and then i picked up guitar okay. like at five he taught me la Bumba, and then from there i just took it i taught myself throughout my life oh damn shit and God, then man. i just looked at fl i got into college and i just looked at fl as another instrument so, so what type of church you was going to when they were playing music uh it was like a Spanish church. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Was, it, was it Catholic or I, was it? It was, it was Christian, but it was I don't Christian. know the denomination. Yeah, because I'm about to say most, most Catholics don't have the music in there, so yeah. it, was, it was Christian. Um, yeah. based. Okay, all right. So y'all more like on the Baptist side almost? Yeah. Like, yeah, okay. But everybody in there spoke Spanish and shit, but, mm. you know, I didn't. I don't I don't understand Spanish. You, know, you don't, don't understand Spanish? Spanish? I'm, I'm mixed with Japanese and Italian on my mom's side, so. <laughs> Damn! Yeah, and then I was raised by a black man, so, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so so your mama just been, okay, yeah, but she made sure, okay, you got all the both, all the world, huh? Yeah, 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 you connected, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's crazy as a bit, man. God <laughs> damn. The man say, but I done seen some shit like at my, my job, you know what I'm saying? It's a boy, he black, but he, he half Chinese, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they call him the Asian boy, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. So, hey, but you know, today, you know, things, you know, the way we grow up now, it, it done changed, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's with everybody now, you know what I'm saying? You got black niggas. I ain't never seen black dude with an Indian lady before, but now it's happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, hey, shout out to the world that's growing. You know what I'm talking about? So, But this isn't the first time in history that's happened either. So right, no, it ain't the first time in history. That's that's how a lot of us got out here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I understand where they're coming from. So, so like, when did you start, like, getting into hip-hop and stuff? Hip-hop, like I said, my, my father came into my life around, like, four. Mm-hmm. You know, he married my mom. They've been together ever since, you know. Love my parents, um, but 
<laughs> Growing up, I was the oldest five kids in the house. Oh, so okay. I had to grow up fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, so like, yeah, it's like a tertiary parent, kind of. Like, you're watching your own siblings grow up, too. Right. So, the love for music, I always wrote rhymes. You know, mm-hmm. my, my, my pops put me on, like, Nas and shit. Because he grew up in Jamaica, Queens. Right. So, like, he put me on Nas, KRS-One, Run DMC, um, EPMD. I was more of an EPMD okay. guy than a Run DMC. Yeah, you know a lot of New York. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, but Slick Rick. Yeah, Slick Rick. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah like, um, Souls of Mischief. Mm-hmm. Shit like that. Yeah, yeah. So, and then Pac, but a lot of people forget about Digital Underground Pac. Yeah, yeah. Dancing he, Pac. He was delivering more of a message, but, you know... Not saying he wasn't as much on death row, but right. it was that dope for so, Yeah, no, no, he had he had straight positive message when he was with Digital Underground. You know what I'm saying? I remember when they pulled him out on the church, you know what I'm saying? He come out do his thing, you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Shout out to Pop, man. Like so, like, who your favorite rapper? Nas. 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 Yeah. Um, on Biggie. Biggie up there. Yeah, you know, yeah, I hear it, you talk. I be hearing you reference a lot of Biggie and stuff Biggie, like that. Biggie up there, you know, as far as Pac, between him and Pac, the great debate, fuck East West. Pac, because Pac originally is from New York. Yeah, right, know, right. Yeah. So, a lot of people fuck, act like they fuck get there. East West, bro, just hands down, Pac or Big. Pac was delivering more of a message. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Big, he was a better MC. His wordplay was. was just bro, he took uh Bone Thugs own flow and switched it in his own way. Arm and dangerous, ain't too many that can bang with us. Yeah. Straight up, we know angel us, label us notorious. Yeah. That's like, it's like, bro, that shit. <laughs> I <right. laughs> Pop, you had a feel in him, Pop, bro. Like, he was speaking from the no, heart. Pop, like, Pop gave you goosebumps. Pop, yeah. Pop, see. And that, and that's and that's the bait of the world, cause you know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pop baby, you know what I'm saying? You know I ain't gonna too much lie to you, cause I know Biggie had some flow, but he didn't have that much work to really, you know what I'm saying? Pop, you can go all the way back. He had a catalog, you know what I'm saying? Then got out of jail and dropped a double disc. Then before he even did that, let's go to Tupac when he was just with Interscope. Tupac with Interscope before Death Row, you know what I'm saying? Then he went platinum while in jail. But I think double platinum, probably more than that, but. With me against the world, man. You, then you got Brenda has a baby. Exactly. You know things like that. You know, like it's your dear I, mama. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like between the two, MC wise, yeah, Biggie. See. But as far as like, so what's the overall icon is going to have to be pop. But so, but what's makes okay? So, cause you saying MC. Mm-hmm. So, is Tupac not an MC? Tupac is an MC. Okay. But you should saying that Biggie just was a better mic control. Mic control, yeah. Okay. Okay, he get the he get he get that. Okay. All right, I feel you. Like he flows. Right. Like he flows like mm-hmm. bro, like some of the verses. Right, like 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 say for instance, like Pimp C he was the wreck, but Bum B but yeah. Bum B was you know what I'm saying, was an MC. Yeah. Yeah, I get you, I get you, I get you. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I get you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get you. Like, cause Pac was wrong. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then you know, Big was more metaphoric. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I got you. I follow you. I follow you. Shit, ain't nothing wrong with it. I just want to get down to the bottom of it. <laughs> yeah. For now, for real, for real. So like, like the the, the what do you like define your style? Like, because <laughs> I've listened to your songs now. You know what I'm saying? I want to say that like Exodus, that's my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate now nah, that's for real because like you you. You, you putting yourself in the mind of like, you know, I want to save the world. You know what I'm saying? But you don't even know what the fuck to do, so I'm yeah. giving it to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, here, toss it, toss it off. You know what I'm saying? But like, before we even get to the exodus, I want to get to the part where like, you was, you, you, you said something that stuck out to me. Now, I may not know the song name, but I do know the lyrics. And you said something about the city don't want to crown you. So you went and you know what I'm saying? You got it on your own, mm-hmm. like, but like, what, what, what made you feel that way, or what was your, what was the feeling, or what was the really meaning behind that, right there? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, I'm on it like supersonic. <laughs> temple, temple got artists out there, right, doing their thing, but we have no community. Right. Everybody's just 
not connected. You know what I'm saying? It's a great debate, but me personally, I feel like that. Right. I'm, I'm doing the best that I can in the humblest way I can say it, but at some point, I'm, I'm working. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? I, I want the people to see that. Mm -hmm. Let the people decide, but you know there are people out there doing their numbers. I'm right. not gonna I'm not gonna deny that. I just haven't found my fan base because I personally feel I'm too diverse with my music. And that's what I was gonna talk about because I was gonna say define your music, define you because, like when I listen to you, you jam. Don't get me yeah. wrong, but I did notice that you show exactly what you been listening to what you grew up learning and all that and I can hear that reflect in your music and I don't think that's a bad bad thing but I know that we in this system we in this yeah. market you know what I'm saying that things have to have a structure yeah. but I done seen Kendrick Lamar I done seen J. Cole I done seen like the best of them break the structure even like when you say you grew up on Slick Rick, I done seen him break that structure back yeah. then because everybody else was on this. But he was on this. He was giving you raw shit. I can give you the hood shit and I can give you, hey, hey kids, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You want to hear a bedtime story? You know what I'm saying? Like, he, like, he be on it like real nigga shit. Now, I'm old school. I, I, I know. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So, like, that's why I wanted to say define, define your music. Like, what, what do you feel like you're in the lane of, you know? Oh, what, and what's the goals you want to accomplish from it? I mean, as far as my own lane, I'm making my own lane. Right. I, I, I don't know what category I'm me. Right. You right. know, so it's right. like music's my best way of expressing that. Now, sometimes just with projects, I don't know how to explain them. I mean, I, I do know how to, what they all mean. Right. How they come about, I just know. They just come naturally, and then whenever I have a group of songs together, it's right. I put them in order, okay. like as I kind of go, right. and I just go with the flow. But as far as formula, seven songs is just the recent formula. Right, right. I, I give them that. a little bit. Right. But I leave them on them for more. Right. So. Nah, I noticed that. I was like, okay, oh, oh, I, oh, I say, say he got a thing. You know what I'm saying? That's your thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's how you come and you, you capture it and everybody can be able to, And I notice how you how you have the flow of your songs, how each song flow. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I was noticing that. I was like, okay, oh, he know how to arrange and everything. Yeah. So, who doing the production? Me. You doing all the production? Yes, sir. What you producing on? FL. All that's coming out of FL Studio? Yeah. Shout out FL Studio. Shout out to the MPC world out there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the producers out there, but, too. Like yeah. I said, I played the guitars. I played the bass. Right. You know what I'm saying? And not some... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I have, like, bongos and shit. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Hey, we got this Rick Ricardo going on yeah. in here. <laughs> like, this from percussion, bro. Cause, yeah. like, sometimes just... It sounds... Nah, it sounds... Like, it ain't nothing like live instruments. And then, especially... Flipping analog it. and yeah. then converting into the digital world and too. Then so. I would just play it. Yeah, play it. Yeah, button. yeah. You just Flip. sample it like you just sample it. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like it's a beast out here now. You know what I'm saying? The game is changing. You know what I'm saying? Especially with AI coming out with all that. You know what I'm saying? The rapper, the, the beats making, the I writing the whole song, writing movie scripts. They, you see the movie people on strike. Everybody on, like people just going on strike. It's crazy out here right now. <laughs> Those AI, like no, yeah. like that, that shit. That shit's some different yeah, shit. Yeah, that's some bad. That shit, man, they got the Kendrick Lamar voice going on. Wow. They got, man, they, they need to get everybody voice out there right now. And it sounds good, too. And I personally <laughs> think that's, like, I think it's a good thing I'm diverse because then right. I wonder what kind of song it would be because they wouldn't be able to. Man, hey, I'll tear your shit up. Hey, hey I'll stop it. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Seven in this bitch. Two, 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 two pop. Man, fuck all you motherfuckers. Nigga, nigga, shit. Nigga, I get one key and I flip that shit. Nigga, and I double it, and then I double it, and I double it, and then I double it. No, bro. Nah, real nigga, shit. Hey, y'all gonna go hard on that bitch. I ain't gonna like, damn, that nigga just took my shit. That's my shit. <laughs> no, for real, for real, man. So what you want out the music, like, man, like, 
Like, what are your goals, man? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just want to create a lane for myself. Right. So, like, one influence for, in, for influence of that is, like, currency. Right. He's independent. Yes. He's doing his thing. Shout He's out getting Karen's. his money. Shout yeah. out Karen. Now, he was, he was very diverse. Yeah. That's one, that was one, that was one diverse dude right there. No, you know what I'm saying? Currency. Like, yeah, currency, B.O.B., people like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, real shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the diverse people out there, man. Because without y'all, you know what I'm saying? I think a lot of shit be dull. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because right now, especially in the, the, the new rap age right now, it's like everything's almost, re it's just repetitive. Not saying that back then a lot of shit won't be repetitive, but everybody adds something different to make it, you know what I'm saying, stick out and make it their own. Now everybody shit here, yeah, everybody shit, yeah, that, that's your shit, I'm finna take it, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm finna get on the YouTube and be you I already did, and I'm finna try to blow up off of it, and I'll just be like, you know, it just, you know, that, I mean, that's just the game, though, because, you know, we, we came up in the mixtape area and um, screw and all that, you know what I'm saying, all mm -hmm. that, jacking for beats, all that, so... <laughs> Well, I understand, you know what I'm saying? I understand the plan, so I can't knock the hustle, you know what I'm saying? But I just wish people, you know, you know, get a little bit, you know, serious with their art, you know what I'm saying? So, but back to what I'm saying, though, um, like, what's what's the next step for you right now? How many and how many projects you got right now? Because right now, I see you, you I, I can thumb, I can do this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can do that, you know what I'm saying? Then you got a nice playlist and everything up, you I know? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got a thing, got Apple Music I and mean, everything. I got plenty more coming, some yeah. more old shit. Like, right. that's not, those aren't even like my first projects out. Like, it's been a long time coming, you okay. know? So I'm going to be re-releasing those old projects. Yeah, what's your favorite project right now you got? Um... <laughs> Yeah, what's that favorite project you got out right? What's your, or what's your or what's your favorite song out of, out of, out of all of them? What, what you what you bumping up? I know you got that song. You wake up every morning. You play in the car. I know you got it. Tell me. Um, I'm already working on the next project. Oh, so you got something new? You like on the new project? Yeah. Oh. I mean, so you know, as an artist, <laughs> I just keep it moving. Right. But this time, I really want to take the time to step back from engineering and producing okay and just focus more on the writing okay and the message and like what i want to do with it so you sound like me because that's what i was doing i did all the producing all of all the writing and all the recording all the mixing yeah. and the mastering distribution the whole the whole nine yards so I know the struggle. I know how you want that, that comfort zone. Sometimes I just want to just sit here and make beats all day now. You know what I'm saying? Because now I'm, I'm kind of hung the rapping up. But I like, but my passion is, you know, the beats. You know what I'm saying? And I look, don't get me wrong, I love mixing. But, you know, I know how you feel. You know? So, like, like who you, like, out of Temple. Yeah. Like, who, who was the OGs coming up rapping and stuff? Was there anybody famous ever come out of Temple? <laughs> Uh, Marcus Cruz. Marcus Cruz was like the first person that I seen do it out of Temple. He got, you know, what was it? Uh, who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? You know what I'm saying? It was, Mar it was Marcus Cruz, Marcel Clemens, the DHS boys. Um, you know, it was uh, A Slab. A Slab. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Who, 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 you know what I'm saying? Me. Okay. Yeah, me myself. Oh, oh, you be rapping? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. We. It's really crazy because it's really been going on for a minute. It's okay. just like ain't nobody really came out of it yet, but it's really yeah. been going on. It's like strong. Right. Right. It's, really, it's a lot of good music. Right. So, so what y'all be trying to when y'all get on the radio, y'all looking for basically Colleen and yeah. Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, y'all perform? Hey, y'all perform? Did anything out here? I mean, as far as Dallas, I did a couple of open mic pop ups um, at the Dallas Open Mic. Right. Um, what else? Just uh, mainly Waco. Okay. Waco. Mainly Waco's been kind of Waco, a spot. Waco got Waco got a crunk crowd. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, Waco, and they got. They, I know they hole in the walls, but they still be crunk though. Nah, for now sure. they be crunk. Like everybody be on the dance floor out there in Waco and everything. Yeah, shout out to Waco. You know what I'm saying? Not but for nah, real. like. Uh, Austin. 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 Oh, Austin go down. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Um, shout out Jay Soldier. 
Okay. You know, because he be hosting the uh, pre-roll. Okay, yeah. okay, all right, all right. So, and, and where they stand, that's over there by 6th Street or? It's off 6th Street. Off 6th Street. Street, yeah, okay, all right. I figured that much, you know what I'm saying, because that's the strip. Yeah. You, you, you ain't doing nothing if you ain't on the strip, you know what I'm so, talking about? So, I mean, about? that's mainly where I've been, just that little area of I-35 and maybe Killeen okay. every once in a while, but. Yeah, well, you need to start traveling more. You need to start branching that, that radius, man. You need to go down, of course, to Crispy. You need to hit H-Town. Then, shit, once yeah. you do that, you need to hit Little Rock. You know what I'm saying? Shreveport. <laughs> you know, for real. That's how you build your fan base. For real. Yeah, you got to get out. You you listen to any Dallas artists? Um, any Dallas artists? Shit. You know, we got a casino and shit. Oh, Fort Worth? Fort Worth, yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, really? So, nobody from Dallas? No, you got somebody from Dallas you done heard. Who you done heard of from Dallas? He said Little Rock, right? Like, oh, yeah, Little Rock, motherfucker, mm -hmm. damn right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Rock, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, Little Rock, 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 yeah, yeah, I just gotta be more present. You know, I know I got the music, I got the hard work and the dedication, mm -hmm. you know. It's a gift, so I'm just giving it back, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta find the right people to give it to. So if there wasn't music in your life, what you think you'd be doing? <clears throat> Probably go crazy. <laughs> 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 it's nothing that you never played basketball, or anything, football, or anything. I played soccer, bro. You played soccer? Yeah, bro. Like, Ain't no wrong with soccer shit, motherfucker. I got the FIFA game at the motherfucker yeah, house. This shit, go hard. shit, hell yeah, shit. Yeah. I be struggling like a motherfucker. <laughs> so I'm kicking my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I make the you got me fucked up though. I bet y'all come out that hole by two goals or something. <laughs> you got me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga be had about eight or ten goals on the nigga. I'm like, nigga, whoop my ass. <laughs> I said, cause nigga gonna score that high soccer. Shit, <laughs> nah, for real, shit. You play, you be on the game? Shit. What game system you on? PlayStation 4 right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I know, bro, like, I what? just be taking my time with that shit because I'm so focused on the music. Oh, okay. I'm so focused on everything. What game you play on now? Shit. I'm playing the old school shit, like the GTAs. Oh, yeah, GTA. Yeah, yeah. GTA hard the motherfucker. They ain't going to never go nowhere. Yeah, shit, we going to be, uh, you going to be on that goddamn, what's that, uh, fighting games? Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat, bro. Yeah, yeah, you ain't on the Mortal Kombat? I'm mean, happy on that motherfucker Mortal Kombat on the Xbox. S, whatever the fuck I got. Man, I be having that. I done bought all the character suits, the car different characters and all that. Man, I be on that whole shit. Get over here. <laughs> 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 nah, for real, nigga. I ain't motherfucking rolling bus, nigga. Tell me, get over here, nigga. Nigga, disappear, come back on there. Nigga, knock a nigga out, shit. Come back and run up, shit, nigga. And then, you know, they got the new moves now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't this shit. They got the new finishing moves, nigga. I, whoosh, whoosh, then go bring them back, sh slice the nigga head on this sh <laughs> blood coming up everywhere. I said, boy, these motherfuckers graphic than the motherfuckers, shit. I said, back then they hoes, I said, well, that ain't got good, boy. See, goddamn me. So you would've been playing soccer, though, and you think you wasn't doing no music? Yeah, I yeah. mean, bro, I also paint. You paint? Yeah. Mm. I do a little painting, just started selling. So, so, you, so basically you draw too, huh? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, you tattoo? No. Nah, oh, I, I grew up okay. like with cousins that tattoo. Yeah. Shout out uh, Wasted yeah, Tattoo. Man, whatever, my nigga. I be hating this shit. Man, <laughs> right there, man. Say, they, they gotta go to prison to get tattooed up by the SA, you know what I'm saying? Then you, you fuck with the black niggas, you get tattoos like this right here when they hang on and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, <okay. laughs> 
<laughs> but it's like shit be damn. I'm talking about I clean the motherfucker. They got a whole chest plate on around these motherfuckers. They, they got the back plate on that bitch, nigga. They got sleeves and socks and shit, nigga. And then nigga, 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 nigga go bald here, nigga. Like shit, I need some more strength, nigga. Nigga, got all over that motherfucker. You like damn. You be like nigga. I was like, shit, hell, had a nigga named Sam and now that nigga named Loco. <laughs> oh, that nigga Loco, that nigga, nigga done done put nigga 22235, nigga, nigga, three dots, something on the motherfucking eyebrow. Nigga like, oh, shit. Yeah. Well, that motherfucker right there crazy. He would leave that nigga alone. That nigga high. That be the nigga humblest person in the world. What's up, dude? What's up, shit? Yeah, shit, nothing. I'm chilling, shit, yeah. He be like, damn, nigga, shit, hell, <laughs> Man, I thought you was a mass killer. Hell, <laughs> shit, nigga. Hell, shit. <laughs> Bro, I am. <laughs> you be like, damn, nigga. Nah, for real. So, nah, man. So, what you think about the music today, though, man? What you, man? Who, who you, who you got your eye on right now in the industry? Like, who you, who you jamming? Myself. Oh, you say myself, yeah. I'll be too focused, but no, I mean, they're, they're, I see people doing their thing, okay. you know what I mean? But uh, I just seen the phases, right. as, as of, even from 2017, like, since I graduated, like, just recalling music and just listening to it on the radio, most of it I just hear on my phone. Okay. Man, why the fuck? Okay. Who in the fuck spelled your name? Me. Nah, how the fuck you come up with that shit? It's a Roman numeral. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> what made you? What made you? What, what made you do that? Like, what was that? Cause that's some flavor. Yeah, uh, seven is the. Uh, that's a drip. That's a drip, nigga. It's a godly number of completion. So, you yeah, know, seven days, seven nights, seven angels. Oh, really? So. You know, it's just kind of like my job not complete yet. Oh, really? You know, my job ain't complete. You already. So, so you trying to you trying to put the city together, right? You gonna put it on the back? Cause right now you got some you got some stuff. I mean, the best thing I like like you said, going back to the getting crown shit. Right. It's just like I I work as hard as I can. Mm -hmm. Whether they acknowledge that or not, that's up to them. Right. Cause either way, I'm gonna continue to do this shit. Right. You know, already, so. Already. That Master Chief. That Master Chief. At first, I was like, it came in weird or something. I was like, maybe I was tripping. And that motherfucker just hit that that jump line, that bass. I was like, damn. And then he just started going. I'm sitting here and I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm just like, like, what was you on? When you made Master Chief. Shit, you could Master Chief. Master Chief, you was on one shit, god damn it. Then you put my boy Pac at the end of that motherfucker. I said, oh, this, oh, he, he trying to, he, that's a statement. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, Master Chief, just a mindset for this whole project, like, because I recorded this in my bedroom. Right. Like, literally at the end of my bed. Right. So, like, bro, I'm just, like, waking up. Right. Sometimes I don't feel good. Sometimes the day's fucked up. Right. Sometimes the power's out and I only have enough power on my computer. Fuck it, I'm gonna use that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm for real. Like, yeah, the struggle yeah, shit. Yeah, for, for real. real. I'm gonna record this shit just to get this shit out of me. So it's like each song I can just tap in. Right, right. You know, so. So what's been, like, so what's been some of the hurdles you don't accomplish and what's been the hurdles? That's been tough for you. I recently got off probation. And after two years for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Right. I, I waited for my lawyer. Got off that shit. I took my shit. You know what I'm saying? It was my first defense. Right. I was trying to get somebody out of the wrong path, but they're already too far gone. Right, right. And it's not my job to try to save anybody. That's true. You know what I'm saying? We so, know as people, we try to. This is especially family. Mm hmm So, yeah. It's a lot of shit. And then... 
just being this close, even on probation, bro. Like, it's crazy. It's <laughs> free go. my man Chapo. Free, <laughs> free, um, free fat. You oh, know, man. it's just there are two young men. When you look at their book, they didn't take the time to even read a few pages. Right. You know, and Chapo. Free that man, you know, he forgot there was a bullet in the chamber. Damn. Yeah. Shit. Riding dirty. And he just went the wrong direction. Damn. You know, so I mean, but he's he's in there, bro, he's doing good. I need to start writing him more. So I've been too busy with my shit. Life. Yeah, you life. Know? People don't know. Life. Life is know. really something, Real. bro, of it. When we really think we do. When we really think we do. Yeah. And so, you know, because it was crazy. He was on my couch. And I was talking to him about getting his shit straight. Right. Drop him off the next morning. He locked up. And he was asking me to, you know, if I wanted a drink. Because I was getting evicted from my apartment. Right. On some hoe shit. When that blizzard hit the first time in fucking 2020, oh. bro, like our power grid went out. Everybody shit bro, went out there. Luckily, my shit didn't go out, but bro, even just trying to go get food, anything, yeah. like, bro, you know what I'm saying? And they would say that I had to be out of that fucking apartment during that week that that shit hit. Like, we all expect me to do that shit. <coughs> but, you know, he was like, you want to drink tonight? And I'm like, Nah, bro, I'm, I'm just gonna... Someone's telling me I need to drop you off at home. But... I not, and I did. And it's just like crazy little events in my life, but... God's showing me. You know, God's showing me. Right. Along the journey, along the path. Nah, I have sweet. to... I have to... Follow. Nah, you know, He's He gonna show you. He gonna wake your ass up every time. You know, and niggas hit them straight. They fly right. You know what I'm saying? Like all the time. Like so. What's, so what's some of the hurdles that you done jump and you know accomplished that you're proud of? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like I wouldn't lie. I wouldn't lie. Just in life, you just gotta have. Acceptance and you just have to move with grace mm -hmm. in life. Some of the things that I'm proud of, you know, depression, bro. Right. Depression. Uh, no, nah, for you real. Know, yeah, it's, it's mental health. It's what is um, mental health, uh, what, uh, wealth. Mental health. Yeah, well, we're in this month. Yeah, so talk about it because depression is real. I mean, depression, bro, I mean, it does have its toll, you know, people do go through shit, but I just feel like I pulled myself out, you know, so it's, it's never too easy, bro, it's never too easy, so, but that's not, sometimes I project that in my music, and you'll see it in a lot of my earlier shit, right. but even in this world's kind of depressing right. when you look at it. Right. You gotta, you gotta understand, like me as a person, I feel. So when I feel shit, like I, I, I always write in that perspective, so I can project that in my music. Right. You know, sometimes I might be wild. Sometimes I might be cool, chilling. Sometimes I'll be smoking. Sometimes I, you know, it's just feelings and right. emotions. It's just you gotta be able to encapsulate that in two minutes. Nah, for real. You gotta be able to make them feel you in them two minutes. You gotta get the BPM jumping. Right. You know, you gotta put the right percussion. Right. Do this, manipulate that as far as the sample, chops. Mm hmm It's just... Nah, for real. Nah, that's facts. That's facts. So, I always ask everybody this question before I give them the flow. And they shout outs and roll calls or what I call it. You know what I'm saying? When I first said it, man, I didn't tell you like Jesus. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he got that, you know what I'm saying? He got that aura, you know what I'm saying? Nah, for real. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, so. I'll take that as a compliment. Nah, for real, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you know what I'm saying? But even the black Jesus was like the white Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> the Mexican Jesus was like the white Jesus. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's like, I don't know what nigga, I don't know what he looked like, but he was like, yeah, never mind. But, yeah. <laughs> appreciate all of y'all. So, if you was in my shoes, what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask? <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody say, why everybody say they want to ask that question? God Damn. Damn. I don't know, bro. Like, the, I'm stuck. You got me stuck. That nigga high. That nigga lit. <laughs> I'm a CBD. You know what I'm saying? I'm bullshit. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Nigga, 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 nah, this, nigga, this is TACP. Yeah, man. Death of 10, nigga. Yeah, For real, nigga, shout out to my sponsor, you know what I'm saying? So loud, you know what I'm saying? Get the bait pins, I ain't got nothing with me, but just, 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 just believe I got the roll up. <laughs> but you gotta answer my question, though. You know what I'm saying? If you, if, if you, if you was in my shoes, what question would you ask yourself? So, you already in my shoes, you know what I'm saying? So, what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask? What question? You know what I'm saying? Is there anything out there? Like, what? Hey, how's your health? How you doing? How's your family? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? How was your trip down here? You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Was you, was you uh, your trip was good? You know what I'm saying? Your mm -hmm. family good? Yeah, my family good. Your family good? Yeah. How you how you help? My uh, you know, I'm working on it. Oh really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I want you to know as a man, you can do anything the fuck you wanna do. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? Don't let nobody control your life. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like if it ain't right for you, speak up. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody put you in a crossfire. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody put you in a halo effect. Don't let yourself feel like you worth less than somebody else just because they got more. Cause just because you make it to the top don't mean that you're happy all the time. You know what I'm saying? Just because you got all the money don't mean you happy all the time. You know what I'm saying? I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I done been asleep with nigga thousands of dollars just sitting in my lap. You know what I'm saying? Like tripping. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm unhappy. You know what I'm saying? Because I still, because I got to keep this up. I can't put no house in my name. I can't put no apartment in my name. I got to be in prison. Motherfucker, I can't, I can't even get no apartment because of the back, my background. You know what I'm saying? This shit, you know, uh, I can't do this. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So I know how depression is. You know what I'm saying? Sitting in that cell like, damn, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? All this shit going on, seeing the division. How, you know, essay stick with they self. Then you got the white boys. And then you got, then you got mm. Christian bloods. And then you got the Muslims. You know what I'm saying? Then you got, you know, all that you got the Texas sending him hit lives and you got the Thongo Blast, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, and then you got a, you got a, you got a 
hurdle through all that shit, you know what I'm saying? The riots and all that shit, and you come back and no motherfucking food to eat, you on the street, can't get no job, then you try to find this job and it ain't working for you and shit, then money just going out, you try to be steady, trying to go here, do music, do this, and get a motherfucking, I know, you know what I'm saying? But all I know is this though, if you want it, you can get it. You just gotta know how to discipline yourself, cause I just took myself when I said fuck it. I said, well, I got a GED while I went to the penitentiary, so I'm gonna put myself in college. I went to college, got my motherfucking bachelor's degree. Now I'm working at a corporate job right now with a felony background. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you can do you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. You know what I'm saying? I just lost my house. Not not because I couldn't pay for it. Yeah, that wasn't the problem. It's just that around right here, they not renewing no leases. So now I'm in between trying to get a house. But every trial and every tribulation is always a hurdle that you supposed to jump. You see what I'm saying? It's supposed to, every, ain't, ain't nothing supposed to always be easy. You know what I'm saying? Because if it was easy, it wouldn't be shit to you. You don't want to do nothing with it. But if it's a challenge to you, that's what's going to make you want to move. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Nah, for real, for real. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I know, I, I mean, I done seen, I done, man, I say, like, man, I say, I done seen partner kill himself over depression. I done seen nigga hang himself over depression. I done seen it. You know what I'm saying? I done been in the city, seen nigga hang himself over depression. Like, I done seen it, so I know it's real. So all I say is, man, keep trucking. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As a man, you never give up. You know what I'm saying? But after that, you know, give your shout outs. You know what I'm saying? And to all y'all out there, the same thing. Y'all keep y'all head up. You know what I'm saying? Like, stay focused. Keep your eyes on the motherfucking prize. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have, nigga, the laws gonna pull you over. Nigga, you gonna have a flat tire. Nigga, your lights gonna be out. Nigga, food prices gonna go high. But, hey. You gonna get it. So nah, for real. He just shout I mean, out and said we gonna get up out of here. <laughs> you know, shout out uh my DJ, shout out AP, you know, shout out supplier. I'm actually the ambassador for that uh brand and company. Yeah, shout so out we AP. got some t shirts yeah. coming. You know, I gotta I'm looking to make a new project, hopefully coming out by the third, fourth quarter of the year. So. Okay. Tell them what they can follow you with. Uh y'all can follow me on Insta at seven S E V I I N two I's instead of the second E official at Instagram, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, shit. Well, y'all heard the first here on Lit Podcast. Yeah, you know how I do it. I say, man, shout out to all of y'all, man. Say, hey, 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 just keep it, keep it straight. You know what I'm saying? Be real with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Once you become real with yourself, you'll be able to grow and get on with your own life and do whatever the fuck you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Devin and dude. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that tone taught me a lot. You know what I'm saying? And we about this bitch. <laughs> Shout out to my to my boy Angel, man. He yeah, shit, yeah, goddamn, we gotta have it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, ye